So I wanted to show you what I did with the, um, the switch that I mapped in the other video. I ended up running the power from the VFD into this uh, workbox here and uh, into the switch. So in position number one, the power is being routed to the motor of the knife grinder and in position number two, the power is being routed to this three-phase uh, three outlet. Now that allows me to connect another motor to the same VFD um, and, and control it. Now you do have to make sure that the motor is, is similar because otherwise you have to modify the settings of the VFD. In my case, they're, uh, they're almost identical. Um, but like I said, if you have a, let's say, a, um, a two horsepower motor, you could modify the settings inside a VFD and, and run it um, fairly easy. The advantage of having a KBDA is that you can modify it on the face front. You don't have to do any, any modification inside the VFD. So that's an advantage as well. But this is basically what, uh, what you do. You connect this out of motor, switch it to position number two. And uh, for example, I have this other motor right here. runs with no problem and if we come back right here switch this to number one and run the knife grinder so this is basically a, a fairly fairly easy solution um, it's nice and clean, it's enclosed, you know, in a, in a waterproof box. I didn't want any dust getting in here. Um, as you can tell, I don't know if you can see it, but this gets all dusty. So if you want to protect all electronics, that's a, that's a good way to go. So if you guys have any questions about this, one more information, just uh, leave me a message and I'll, uh, I'll try to answer as soon as possible. Good luck.